Hello and welcome to the Hobo and his girlfriend. For I'm Hobo Tom. And we're here to talk a little bit about SmackDown. Again, like the wish everyone a very happy 4th of July, being that it's the 3rd of July. God bless America. Yes. Happy 4th of July. Yep, and we're here to talk about SmackDown. Oh, Tom. You're not wearing your 4th of July shirt. Please go change. Yay! Now you're in the chair with your sparklers. Yay! Yeah, so we're here to talk about SmackDown. This was a really fun, kind of weird, quick show. And the fact that you can kind of tune in just a little bit late, but I don't think we missed much. We really missed much a, about a hell no promo with both Kane and Daniel Bryan. Talked a little bit about how, about how they're kind of just getting back together. And then they were challenged by the Usos, the Uso Penitentiary. Because day one is H. Actually, it's going to be day one-ish. That's their shirts. Then we go into a Jeff Hardy promo, again, talking about eagles and a whole bunch of other fun science stuff. I like it when Jeff Hardy talks about science stuff. I dig it. And this led to the first match of the night, where we had The Miz versus Jeff Hardy. And this was a really fun match. This was a surf and turf match. I was shocked. There's such a dichotomy between Raw and SmackDown. Raw can be so bad. Whereas SmackDown can be so yay. Ready? Uh, uh. SmackDown, yay. So again, this was a fun match. Again, a very starts off a very classic Hardy match. Very fast paced. The mid slows things down. Um, he's more of the ring tactician. He does a lot more of the kind of mat wrestling. And again, he just really has a command of the ring. And the only really bad thing about SmackDown, the commercials really kill it. I mean, they show commercials in the middle of the match. And I know for this match, there were two series of commercials. And I know they show things kind of picture in picture. But it's just not the same, though. I mean, from what you saw, there were good action sequences. Again, Miz is just a smarter wrestler. He, he wrestles more with his head. He's more cerebral. Of Jeff, Hart, Jeff Hardy, he's more, more of the wrist taker. He's more reckless. And this was a good long match. They the, this match breathe. It has its highs. It has its lows. It hit all the story points. It was really good. Again, Miz actually tried for the dirty pin. Again, by putting his feet up on the rope, got caught. The referee he said, ah, ah. that's not going to happen. Eventually, Jeff did hit the twist of fate and the swanton bomb for the win. And this is uh, Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura, the U.S. title at Extreme Rules. Then we get into a pancake eating contest. This is the 4th of July coming up, or it's the 3rd of July pancake eating contest. Because everyone knows what should be on the 4th of July. What's the fair of Fuji on the 4th of July? Cheeseburgers and hot dogs. Hot dog eating. Again, I'm going to make some hot dogs tomorrow. Crunch fries. And Cheetos stuff. Or macaroni and cheese stuff. Cheetos. Or is it the other way around? I think you got it. Okay. Again, good, unhealthy stuff. Again, it's just... So the fat of July, almost. Right? Yep. Again, we have the New Day with a pancake eating, pun pancake eating contest. And unfortunately, this went off pretty well. Well, pancake eaters got whooped by Sanity. Yes, Sanity came out. Again, they interrupted, again, the fun match. I mean... Well, at least the pancake eating contest. Kofi Kingston, when he's tossed, can fly out of the ring. 
Big Demo hit the Hoss Splash. Which is amazing. Again, this 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 kind of went, went really quick. Segway into each other. And we have an Asuka versus Ellsworth match. And eh, this, this was toast. And the only reason it was toast is because it was a dusty finish, baby. <laughs> you know what happens when it's a dusty finish? What? Nobody wins. No. And, James took his sweet little time. Looks like a dork. And he got his butt kicked by a girl. <laughs> and again, it was a piece of toast match. I mean, girls rule. Carmella came out, kind of started Boys to interfere rule. a little bit. Yeah. And then it ended in a double count out. Carmella, <laughs> again, kind of. Girls rule. I said girls rule and boys rule. So... Again, I would like to point out that there was a grave mistake sign out there. Again, a little props to Ross Twiddell, also known as King Ross, over there on Cultaholic. And yes, I miss Edge too. I always like to address those signs because they're kind of goofy there. But again, it was, it, was, it was okay. It was what it was. Well, this sets up a match for next week where it's going to be James Ellsworth versus Asuka, except for it's going to be a, a, a lumberjack match. And what happens is that the two of them fight in the ring, and they have actually, this time, all the women will be surrounding the ring so James Ellsworth can't get counted out. It's like the way like lumberjacks used to settle like fights and stuff like they let the two guys fight, and like they couldn't run away, so they were just like throwing back in. They said, "Get in there and finish your stuff." Then this led to a Kane and Daniel Bryan again, just kind of showing a little bit more history. If you don't know what their history is, because because again, it's been five years since they've wrestled. Kane, I think, has been off for about five to eight months. Daniel Bryan's just coming back after three years. Again, just shows the history. And this led to another match of the phenomenal one, AJ Styles versus Aiden English. You forget about Carmelo being in there? No, but Carmella wasn't there. This was Russo. Well, Carmella Kamar thinks he's all that. Yeah, and then well, Daniel O'Brien needs to stop holding a grudge. It's been five years, sweetie. Then you have Rusev, because it's another, well, at least today was Aiden English Day, or because my beautiful, amazing girlfriend was here. Today was Sweetie Day. I'm the star. And this, this was really a fun match, although it started out fun, but unfortunately, came the first ever AJ Styles ham sandwich match. This was just way too quick. Back down there. Well, I felt bad for AJ Styles. He was getting beat up. Came back and he got beat up again. <laughs> yep, AJ Styles had it in English and the calf pressure. In English tapped out. Aiden English wins. Rusev interferes. So this will be interesting to see how what happens during their match at Extreme Rules. So so we'll see what happens in a week from Sunday, where I will hopefully be live streaming. You'll see me live, and you can ask me questions, leave me comments. Again, keep it classy, clones. You know who I'm talking to. Clones. That's an old sports talk radio reference. Okay. Hopefully someone will get that. If you do, please comment. Again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And you can always email me the answer about who calls his fans clones.
um, one of many trivia questions I sent out there. Cool. Right between that and well, it's the same guy that says fat, and of course there's the other fat. <laughs> Weird. Well, that's top sports talk show right here for you. They need as many viewerships as we can. Again, I'd like to thank all those who subscribed and viewed. I think we're almost at we're almost at the thousand view mark, I think. Yay! I know we're over two thousand minutes. Which gives us about I think thirty hours, I think. That's pretty cool. Wow. And again, we are only one away from the perfect ten pizza party. Yay! Yes, it's the magic 10th person. You, you have a pizza party in your honor. And you'll see me play WWE 2K17. And we're going to film that live and show you what kind of pizza Hobos eat. I think whoever the 10th subscriber is should tell us what kind of pizza to order. That's a good idea. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. And as long as it's the Hawaiian pizza. No it's, fruit on pizza. It's up to the 10th subscriber. This then led to another women's match. Again, this card kept on going. Uh, Becky Lynch versus Peyton Royce and the icon the Iconics. They weren't as fun as they were. I'm not smiling that much. Again, this was probably another ham sandwich match. And it's not taking anything away, except for maybe a yummy cheeseburger, or a flaming on, or a lobster who's driving away this ham sandwich, or even a nice yummy steak. But it was, it was okay. I thought it was one big cat fight. Yeah, and that's kind of what it boiled, boiled down to. I mean, both kind of got the job entrance, which seems beneath both of them. Billy Kay did do her coaching part, and it's just a really slow, ongoing match. Becky Lynch, you do need to zip up, though. And Becky Lynch won with the disarmor, and again, a hand so much match. Then we finally got to the most anticipated part, which was the main event of the Usos, because the Usos are day one ish versus Team Hell No, 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 No. 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 And yeah, this was this was kind of fun. I, and this thing really picked up. The way SmackDown does things is that they tend to really look at things, and and this was a fun match. Um, again, my only gripe is that it was short. I think it was after the entrances. I think it only lasted about ten minutes. Again, it is the Fourth of July. The Fourth of July, nothing's better than a good old fashioned American cheeseburger. I thought it was a good good match. It was. I mean, if it, if it was longer and did a little bit more, it probably would be a serpent turf and not taking anything away from Kane or Daniel Bryan or the Usos. But they're just trying to fit so much in and just seems really compacted. And then there was a kind of weird ending where they just kind of stared down at the Bludgeon Brothers and kind of like it just faded into Chris Lee knows best. Oh, they look like some of a science fiction movie. But yeah, this was really a good match. I mean, it's just such good tag team work with both Team Hell No and the Usos. I mean, it was fun. Um, the Usos did have a faster pace, noticeably faster pace. Um, a com good false finish. It. I mean, when they started to do the super kick party, always a fan of super kicks are fun. And there was a double cross body attempt, which laid out both Jay and Daniel Bryan. I was afraid if it's Jay or Jimmy Usos because they're, they're, they're twins, so they could wear masks and. You know it better than I do. And, and yeah, it was just good action. It, and it played out to both teams' strengths. And it was fun. Again, a cheeseburger. Again, I'd like to wish everyone 
a happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Be safe. Please do not blow off any fingers setting off fireworks. I know in Daytona Beach there's going to be a couple of fireworks shows. I don't know where. Again, be safe. Enjoy yourself properly. And again, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment or even email at hoboandgirlfriend at gmail.com. Happy 4th of July, everyone. Bye. Bye.